I literally can't believe it happened. She locked us out the house. I met Chrissy Chella. Sorry. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's just a very average Sunday at home. I've got a few things I need to get done today. A few things that I want to go do. The weather is looking questionable. The weather up on my phone says it's going to rain all day. I'm choosing not to believe that. BBC weather says it's going to be cloud and sunshine all day. That is the option I'm going with. I've got up and got ready fairly early this morning. We're just about to take my dad and cousin to the train station on the way back. I wanna, I'm gonna pop in Sainsbury's. I've seen in there they have these really, really cute sandals that I want. Obviously the weather's been getting nicer and it's been getting warmer and I've been wearing more of my sandals, but a lot of my sandals I've had for years and I feel like they're a little bit worn and a bit tired. So I feel like I need a couple new pairs of sandals for this year. So I want a black pair. No, I don't. <laughs> I want like a creamy beige pair. And I also feel like I need a white pair. That's where we're gonna go this morning. I'll catch up with you and run you through my little plan that I've got for today when I get back. Okay, we are back from Sainsbury's. They didn't have the sandals that I wanted. I should have got them when I saw them a couple weeks ago. But anyway, maybe I just need to go to another one or order them online because they were really cute. I picked up some stuff for my dinner tomorrow and also some for my lunches for the next couple of days. So, I thought I would show you what I've got because, I mean, you might not care, but why not? Got some soy milk because I'm running out. Tomato, cucumber. He got some sushi for her lunch, which I'm very jealous of because that looks really nice. And we've got chicken for our dinner during the week. I've got these olives. My obsession with olives, I can't even tell you. But Maya, if you're watching this, these look really, really good. I've not tried them before, but they give me full Nando's olive vibes and I'm here for it. I picked up some salad. Oh my gosh, these. Just try them. Just try them. They do a few like different flavours with other stuff in, but they're so, so, so good got some strawberries and then i also got this chicken for my lunches for like the next couple of days yeah they're sweet and smoky barbecue mini fillets which look really good also taylor if you're watching this can you see that 111 calories anyway and then i also got this flatbread which i'm gonna have for my dinner with like probably the salad and olives tomorrow that was what i got so yeah i'm gonna pop this away the washing machine has just finished i put on my bedding to wash because Sundays are normally clean bedding days. So yeah, I'm gonna pop this away, make some lunch, and then I can hang my washing out as well. Fun. Okay, I've had my lunch. I had a bit of a small lunch, partly because I am going for dinner later, which is like fairly early. But B, I have yogurt that I need to use, so I'm gonna have yogurt and fruit a little bit later on. Mm. Anyway, you don't care about that. And then I've just sat here and planned out what I need to get done and like kind of planned out next week a little bit. But yeah, I've got a few things that I need to get done today. I literally don't know where the time has gone because I'm going out for dinner at five and it's already one o'clock. Where has today gone? I do not know. But I feel like I have a million one things to do. So I need to go hang that washing out. Then I need to put clean bedding on later and like give my room like a bit of a tidy up at some point. I also want to film a Zara haul today because I've done a little order in the week. I love the pieces already. I think I'm probably gonna keep all them. Maybe just like one thing I might return. But so yeah, I wanna film that. I also need to clean out Billy, our rabbit, at some point. I've got a couple of returns that I need to package up. I'll do that after I film the Zara haul in case I don't want to return anything. So that I can take them to the post office tomorrow. And then I also want to go on a walk at some point. Although the weather's let me down like big time. To be fair, my room actually isn't too messy. I just more want to like clear some of the stuff off like the sides and like on my windowsill because I was just thinking earlier I don't need that much stuff up there um, and I feel like it would look nicer if there was actually less so yeah it's not too messy it's just obviously I've got like all my duvet and stuff on the floor because stripped from my bed earlier. I actually went to London yesterday. I like the way I choose to vlog on the day that I'm not well I am doing stuff but I'm not doing a lot. Can you see that hair? My hair kind of needs a wash today, but we're just dragging it out another day. I went out for dinner Friday night with Tay. We went to Miller and Carl, which was really, really nice. Yesterday, I had such a good day yesterday. I've got such a good story to tell you guys. I literally can't believe it happened. So yeah, I'll tell you that story in a minute, but yesterday I had such a good day. I had a really good morning. So if any of you watched my, it's either my second or third video back to YouTube, it was a get ready with me. In that video, I spoke about that one of the like goals I wanted to do this year was to try a new hobby. Obviously one of the things I've done is I've started YouTube again. I've done that for ages anyway. So it's not really like a new hobby, but like, I've started doing it again but I also just wanted to try like a completely new hobby something that I've not done before the idea that I had at the start of the year was to try running like get into running and I can confirm in the past week I or like just maybe just over a week I've been for 
free runs, I think it is. I've enjoyed them so much, like way more than I thought I would. I have like run in the past, but like I've never properly like run regularly and like stuck to it. I would just more do it if I felt like doing it. I would run, but even then I would always do it on a treadmill. For this week, I have not run outside, honestly, for like five years or something like crazy. Yeah, I've just never done it and I was a little bit like, apprehensive about it i don't know why but i just felt like oh would people be like looking at me thinking like god she's not a pro runner is she but honestly people don't even know this like people do not care everyone else is just like minding their own business so yeah i've been on three i've been on two runs outside i've done one on the treadmill but the two that i've done outside i've i literally enjoyed so much it is honestly like a form of therapy in my opinion so i'm definitely no runner i can't like I'm not doing crazy distances or anything like that. I've literally just started out. So I'm just taking it nice and easy. But I've really enjoyed it. And it's just felt so good. I think it's helped both times I've done it. Like the weather has been so nice. It's been like really, really sunny. It's been like in the morning at the weekend. And it's just been really nice. And my day got off to such a good start. Basically, my I have an Apple watch. I use it to like track if I'm doing a workout or anything like that. The running mode on it, I think you probably can change it but I just haven't done it but it's in miles and I'm like going off kilometers rather than miles. So in my head I thought I want to run two kilometers which is what I did last time and I felt like that was a good place to start for me. Like everyone's so different. I know that's not very far. Two kilometers is what I was setting out to do and I'd worked out when I before I'd started running what that was in miles so that I could track on my watch so I knew when to stop and I was getting up to two kilometers and I was like I actually feel like I could go a tiny bit further. I'm not dying basically is the thought that I had. I was trying to do the maths in my head to be like what would two and a half kilometers be. Long story short I'd done the maths awfully and I actually worked out what three kilometers was but without knowing that. So I ran three kilometers thinking it was like two or two and a half. I know it sounds really silly if anyone's a runner you're going to be like that's nothing but considering it was my third run i don't know i just felt really good for doing it so my day started off really well got ready and went into london i was going out with two of my friends from work we went to a place in mayfair called hush i'm not gonna lie we didn't have the greatest experience i think it's a really nice place if you want to go to for a drink it's got such like a beautiful outside area we just didn't have a great experience but it was a really nice nonetheless and we all just had a good catch up where was i going that was where i was going with that story i went in selfridges because I really wanted to try it, the new NARS tinted moisturiser. I think it's called like the Radiant, NARS Radiant something, tinted moisturiser that they're doing. I've heard really good things about it, so I really wanted to try it. So I went in there and the lady gave me like a little sample part of it to take home so I could try it, which was really helpful. So I've got that on today. I don't know how well you can tell. Just like the glowiness, the texture of it. I can't explain it. The consistency of it is so nice it's like so much better than any tinted moisturizer i've ever tried before i would say like i've got quite a few breakouts around my chin at the minute so i put on my maybelline what is it super stay something i can't remember what it's called but i do that anyway i just dub that like a really small amount on spots and kind of use it as like a concealer i highly recommend i feel like i'm having such a catch up with you right now i hope you don't mind but yeah also i literally have to tell you guys this because i still cannot contain my excitement it's been like nearly 24 hours and i'm still like as if that happened yesterday when i was in london i met chrissy cella sorry like it, it's actually blown my mind i wouldn't even say it made my day like like full on made my week or made my month i don't even know i can't expect i just feel like something that good hasn't happened in a while that was just so like out of the blue and random and it was just yeah it made me really happy but she is probably one of the nicest people i've met like and i mean in general let alone like in terms of anyone that i met that's like a celebrity or like an influencer or youtuber or anything like that and she was just yeah so kind so lovely literally stunning can i say she's stunning on instagram anyway but you know when you see something in real life and you're just like wow <laughs> wow but yeah she was literally so kind and so nice i'm so glad i said hi it took me a hot minute to build up the courage to say something because i felt i didn't want to like interrupt she's out with her boyfriend in going about their day like i didn't want to like, I don't know, I didn't want to feel like I was intruding or anything, but um, I literally just bumped into her in Bond Street Station as I was going to Selfridges. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those things that, like, it just feels so... I won't go into the whole story of how we, I bumped into her, but it's just one of those things that it's so weird that, like, the littlest of things add up to that, because I won't even want to get that train. I ended up getting an earlier train to get there so that I could go to Selfridges to 
look at that foundation had i not got that earlier train had i not have booked that random place in mayfair that i just found on tiktok once and was like yeah i want to go there like i didn't know anyone that went there i just literally saw it and was like yeah that looks cute had i not have got on a different tube to the one that i was meant to get on little list of things just add up like it's just so random i don't know i just find stuff like that so like random like right place right time you know she's like a huge inspiration to me just in like everything that she's done and created and and that to have met her was it was just really cool and like obviously i wasn't expecting it walking out the tube station listening to my podcast mind my own business and i just looked up and she was there and i was like what the hell anyway story time over i'm gonna probably put a video on and then sort this room out because it needs to be done i can't be bothered to do it but i need to do it so <laughs> video has been filmed yeah that's the first haul that i filmed in like i don't even know how long i'm sitting in front of my light which is why i look a little bit shiny but i um maybe actually filming in front of the light would be a good idea i don't know if you can i don't know how well you can see but the texture like can you see yeah it's just really nice i really really am happy with the tinted moisture look how the difference that light makes is mad anyway uh, i did tidy my room but um i have 40 minutes till we need to leave i'm super excited we're going for a roast i feel like i go for a roast quite often on a sunday um but yeah like i said my dad and cousin um they've gone to the football today so i think we're still winning i don't want to jinx it though v and i are gonna go for a roast dinner we're going to a pub that i've not been to before she's been only recently though for the first time and she said it was really really good and we wanted to go there for a while just because we've heard it's quite local to us and we've heard a lot of people say really good things about it um so yeah i know she went there for a roast a little while back and she really enjoyed it that is where we're going for dinner i'm super excited i love a roast dinner it's probably one of my fave dinners really excited for that so yeah I have about 40 minutes till I need to leave. I think I have done most things I wanted to get done. Other than the fact my room is now messy again. I'm going to tidy that up when I get home. I'm going to go clean Billy out. I think I can do it in half an hour. I can hear him drinking. <laughs> I'll give you that. Yeah, I think I can do it in half an hour. And that'll give me 10 minutes to quickly get ready. While I'm cleaning them out, I'll have to think about what I'm going to wear to save me some time. Because I know that always takes me so long. <laughs> again i'm back home from dinner dinner was delish i literally loved it so much it was so good but i feel very very full it was just such a good worries and then the dessert was incredible as well like so good i feel like as well those chocolate bombs you normally only get them in like slightly higher end restaurants or like in london or whatever like i've never well i've never seen them in like, like anywhere local to me i was highly impressed it was honestly delicious the waitress we had was so lovely i always think it just makes such a difference when people are just like so nice and happy and kind and like really just like make an effort do you know what i mean did we intend to be home this late no we did not why was we home this late because v my stepmom she locked us out the house really helpful i know the second that door shut she literally at the same time as i shut that door said oh my god i don't have my key um so yeah we got locked out of our own house which is fab we thought to go pick up my dad and cousin from the station which was not the station local to us it was about 20 minutes away then i had to drive over to my mum's house then we had to get the spare key then we had to come back here and we're back in the house now that that dilemma has been dealt with um i did intend to go on a walk to be fair it has only like just stopped raining in like the past like half an hour i think i might just go for a really quick walk i feel like after dinner walk to revive did try and tidy my room a tiny bit before i left um and i actually have put away a couple of things but i need to do more and i need to package up a couple of returns that i'm going to take to the post office tomorrow and i have like a million and one other things that i could be getting on with don't talk to me i've got just so much stuff i need to sort out i need to sort out stuff for my birthday that has been on my to-do list for so long plans need to be made things need to be booked and i've still not sorted out i've got videos that i could do of editing and i've got an exam in three 
weeks. <laughs> Every time I say it, I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm gonna go on a really quick walk, make the most of the fact it's just raining. Let me check the weather though. I'm gonna go on like a 20 minute walk. I say that though, and I know when I'm walking, I'll really enjoy it and I wanna walk for longer, but I am gonna go on a walk in the morning with my dad before we start work. So I have that as well, but yeah. I'm gonna go get my headphones and go on a walk. <laughs> Hello, as you can see, it's a little bit later. I'm in my pyjamas. I just need to go like take my makeup off and do my skincare and bits, which I'm about to go do in a minute. But yeah, I've pretty much tidied my room now, which is good. Sorted out my day. Tomorrow, I just need to go take some things down to throw away. In returns, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not packaged up. Well, firstly, I've realized that we don't have any ink in the printer, so I can't print the label off anyway. So I'll just have to take that in the week. Plus, I didn't realize I can't take it to the post office that's local to me because they don't do that return. And then the other one, which is a Zara one, I'm unsure whether to keep one of the things in it. Yeah, other than that, I've done everything ish. I've still got a fat to do this, but I don't know if I think I set out to do today, so that's good. I've also just wrote down like a bit of a plan for tomorrow. I actually downloaded this app during the week called Structured. You can basically use it to like plan out your day. The reason I wanted to get it is because there are some days where I feel like I have, sorry, the hair's gone up in a bun. I've also just realized I'm gonna need to wash my hair in the morning, so that's a fun thought. Anyway, as I was saying, um, there are some days where I just feel like I'm not as productive as I could be, especially at the minute because I have got an exam coming up and I need to really start getting into the swing of things. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you in case it helps anyone else, but for those days where, yeah, I'm just like super busy, you can, so like for example, this was the other day. Yeah, you can basically just, I don't know if it's, I feel like it's a bit overexposed, but you can basically just like time block all the things that you're doing that day. I'm gonna go take my makeup off and do my skincare and then I'm gonna get into bed and plan out tomorrow and just yeah schedule like what i want to get done so i can make sure that i get everything done that i want to but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i've had a really good weekend actually so yeah i'm feeling really good and i'm excited for another good week you've got to put the positive vibes out there and you've got to set good intentions i hope you all have an amazing week and i'll see you again in my next video bye <laughs>